Part two of the simulation, we're going to look at uh, some AC or frequency responses of this amplifier. Remember that right now we're operating at 10 microamps. Okay, our I bias is 10 microamps, and our um, uh, compensation capacitor is 360 pico farads. I don't need an F here because this is used in a capacitor, and if you don't know that capacitors are measured in farads, then well, you should. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to turn on our AC simulation. Remember, you have all this stuff. I, I kind of like to set up all my simulations and, can't, and uh, do that. So you hit cancel, get to our text editor, go back here, replace the dot with a semicolon. Now we have a dot AC simulation. This is per decade, which is a factor of 10. This is 30 points per decade. And we're going to go a huge range. This is 100 millihertz, or 0.1 uh, cycle per second, all the way up to a gigahertz. And you'll see later when we do some sweeps why this is useful. So you say OK, and run the simulation. What do we get? Well, you notice that my uh, screen popped up with a plot of V out. That was because earlier uh, I saved my plot settings. OK. So we're going to look at this. This is V out. And remember our input. Let's look at our uh, AC simulation here again. It says AC dec points per decade, 0.1 uh, start frequency, end frequency. But we don't know, like, we didn't really say what thing we're changing, right? Like, what is our input? Because uh, we kind of want a transfer function, right? Well, our input is whatever the AC values are. So dependent sources, they just do what they do. I have two independent voltage sources here, actually two more because they're my uh, my power supplies. Let me give it, go up here. Uh, but there's no AC value for these. These are just a DC value uh, source. DC of five, and this is blank, amplitude and phase. All right, so we go over here. Uh, VD has an AC value of 1, VCM has an AC value of 0. So if you have uh, multiple sources with uh, AC on them, make sure, and this is easy to forget, I do it too, uh, that AC, uh, you have a magnitude of 0 for everything except what you intend to be your input. Right now we're looking at differential voltage gain, so our difference, difference input uh, is uh, 1 here. Now, why do we choose an AC amplitude of 1? Because we like to divide by 1 in our head. That's it. Okay. All right, we can change the phase. That's not important. It is important when we have uh, multiple sources going on, which we don't because we specifically turned this one uh, off, VCM. Go, Go back to our plot. Okay, so we have this. Wow, look at this. This goes way, way up high. Do you see how this like doesn't quite go flat? Like it looks like it's going to go flat, but it doesn't? Well, I want to measure my DC gain or my low frequency gain. And since it's not flat here, I don't have any simulation points to show uh, where it goes flat at. So does it go flat right there? Does it have some other bumps? I don't know until you simulate it. So what does that mean? That means I need to change my simulation. Uh, 0.1 hertz is not low enough. Let's go another factor of 10. Be careful when you go factors of 10, because it might change your simulation uh, time. And we see that we go another factor of 10. We go from 1 hertz. Uh, this is 0.1 hertz where we were before. We go out and we're like, yeah, we're pretty sure this is this is going uh, flat here. I put a cursor on my uh, uh, waveform, this is V out, and I go way over to the left side, I see 105.9 decibels. Well, 105.9 decibels is 10 to the 105. Point, oh, we'll do 0.9. No, we're going to do 106. 106, okay, divided by 20, we're going to convert from decibels a voltage gain to uh, volts per volt. This is divided by 10 to the power 106 divided by 20. 
and I'm using my calculator here and uh, let you know tell you what let's do this I'll show you this uh, 10 this is Python, so a double star is uh, exponentiation. 10 to the 106 divided by 20. Do you believe me? This is Python 3, uh, so I can do this. I'm going to yield a floating point number. If this is Python 2, which uh, you really shouldn't be using uh, right now. Uh, this this will give you an integer, and that's that's not the result that you want. Do you see this number? 199,526. 199,000 volts per volt. That is basically the same voltage gain that we had before. Isn't that suspicious? You know, it shouldn't be suspicious at all. This is just our small our small signal DC voltage gain, or low frequency voltage gain where it's flat. We could go out here to the left a little more at lower than this, but if we go to a millihertz, that will take a thousand seconds for us to wait for a, uh, a cycle to happen, which is a long time. And I don't want to do that. If this is in the lab, this would just take forever to measure these. One reason why we use a circuit simulator. We don't have to wait a thousand seconds to get a data point way over here. Okay, so that's our cursors. Uh, shut off our cursor. We see that we have, uh, it looks like we have one pole. I'm going to change my plot settings. I'm going to right click here. Let's do 120 de decibels. We're going to do ticks at every 20. And then we'll go to, uh, let's do minus 20. I'm looking at my uh, plot here, Bode plot, log, log. And we see that we go from 1, we go down, we go down. You notice how we go down by 20 decibels every decade in frequency? Yeah, this is like classic one pole. This is one pole amplifier. We go all the way down. Looks like a one pole. We don't get any other poles or zeros happening until we get near the uh, 0 dB point, which is a, a gain of 1. And it's suspiciously somewhere close to... Uh, can I go over here? At 100 kilohertz, we have a gain that's basically 1. This is 0 0.1 uh, dB below uh, 0. So we have a unity gain frequency, F sub T, of 100 kilohertz for this particular amplifier. Totally cooked the numbers of my... Uh, uh, capacitor and bias current. That is, uh, I showed, that is uh, low frequency gain in decibels, uh, calculated in volts per volt. I did that verbally, and uh, I also showed it in Python, I guess. And then uh, we showed the unity gain frequency, and now we want the uh, amplifier's 3 dB frequency. What is that? Well, we take the flat part, and we say, when does it drop by 3 decibels? Well, we need to know what the top is, so we can subtract 3. We're going to do this the easy way. I always recommend doing the easy way. Sometimes the easy way is the best way, because it allows us to understand what we're doing. So I'm going to grab cursor number 1. You see I put cursor number 1 way on the left, basically the flattest part of the flat part that we could. Next up, I grabbed uh, cursor number 2. I clicked it, so I'm selected. Now I can use my arrows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this one. This is the difference between them. Okay, and I'm going to... Uh, there's my plot. And I use my arrow keys to go left and right and watch this difference until we hit 3 dB. So I'm going left, I'm going right, minus 2.6, 2.97, 3.3. All right, so if I go over here, minus 2.979, this is uh, pretty close to 3 decibels down. My 3 dB frequency for this particular amplifier, remember I use parameters, so that changes, is 0.419 hertz, 0.42 uh, hertz. It's pretty slow, it's just, it is what it is.